Okay, hello friends. Um, good, what is it, evening, afternoon for you all? I know we are um, off of our normal schedule a little bit, um, and that is because it is, of course, Black Friday. So happy Black Friday. Thank you so much for tuning in with us um, on a Friday as opposed to a Wednesday. Of course, next, next week we will be back to our uh, regularly scheduled programming as usual. Um, but this is going to be a super fun stream because um, not only am I talking to you about some super awesome products, some of my favorite products from Kia Babies, in fact, um, but also we have some lightning deals to share with you. Um, and so the way that this is all going to work is it's kind of like normal shopping, but more fun, right? There's, it's a little bit more exciting um, because these deals will, of course, um, only last for a certain period of time um, on this Black Friday. And so you have to make sure uh, that you are kind of ready to pull the trigger. Um, you are, you know, ready to shop um, to hop on and grab those deals before they expire. Really, really excited um, to, to share these particular products with you. Um, let me just pop on the chat really quickly. I'm assuming that you all can see and hear me okay. Um, if not, please let me know. Um, but just want to make sure that everything looks okay. Um, and of course, um, say hello to you guys as you join us. Um, I see some familiar faces already. Thank you so, so much for joining us. And uh, more importantly, I feel like than Black Friday, um, happy holidays. Uh, if you are celebrating um, Thanksgiving or I have just celebrated Thanksgiving, um, I hope it was wonderful. Um, I hope it wasn't too stressful. Um, I know the holidays are not all fun and games all the time for some of us. Either we're, um, we have hectic traveling schedules or cooking schedules or, you know, you're hosting a, a lot of people in your home, um, whatever it may be. Uh, I hope that uh, it was a wonderful time for you. It was a wonderful time for us. Um, we're actually not finished celebrating. Um, I come from kind of a blended uh, family. So I've got mom's side, I've got dad's side, and I've got my in-law. So we actually have to uh, travel tonight um, to arrive for our kind of second Thanksgiving to do it all over again tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, lots of lots of stuff going on in uh, the Simpson household. I do want to apologize because uh, in case you can't hear, I am still sick. <laughs> Um, or I guess more accurately, I am sick again. Um, so my daughter, Sophia, uh, my husband and I, we all kind of came down with a cold. We were all COVID and flu negative, luckily. Um, but we did just come down with this really crappy cold, uh, like two, almost three weeks ago at this point. Um, and while my husband seems to be recovering well, Sophia and I now have kind of a residual um, sinus and ear infection uh, just because of all that kind of drainage and um, congestion and all that kind of stuff. So yes, we are going on week three of illness in this household. Um, so we were not at our full energy or full capacity yesterday, but I feel like we were still, you know, very grateful for the good food, grateful for time with family, um, and we got through it and we made it work. And as I said, I have to try to rest as much as possible this evening because it's still going on for us. We're going to do it all over again uh, tomorrow. So, all right, so let's talk a little bit about um, what we are going to be doing together this evening. Um, so, as I said, we have some lightning deals running um, on a few different items. Uh, we're going to do some crafting together again. Now, if you joined us last week, um, some of this will be a little bit of a repeat for you, but um, I just feel like, you know, with the season that we're in, um, we really wanted to share our uh, Kia Babies ornaments because they are actually on sale this Black Friday. Um, and it's just, it makes the perfect gift. It makes the perfect kind of holiday decor. Um, so I wanted to go over that with you one more time in case you were not joining us last week. Um, I don't want you to miss out on that. Uh, so we're going to go through that quickly. Um, we are going to talk about um, a couple of the Kia Babies hairbrush sets. 
absolutely one of my two of my favorite uh, Kia Babies products ever. Um, we use them at bath time um, for my daughter, Sophia. Love them, can't wait to talk to you about those. Um, and then finally, we have some of our multi-use covers um, on sale for this Black Friday. So uh, let me throw some information at you kind of on the front end. Um, and don't worry, you don't have to remember this all right now, of course. Um, I will, you know, mention it after I talk about each one of these products and I'll keep mentioning it per usual throughout the live stream for anyone who joins us um, a little bit later. Okay, so um, the first lightning deal is going to be on the Cherish ornaments. Um, and so that is this guy right here. Um, this is the round ornament set. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Um, you guys are going to have to deal with that again. <laughs> Illness is the theme of this live stream once again. Um, so that lightning deal is going to run from 5.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to 5.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and so the Cherish Ornament Set is going to be up to 30% off. You guys have to um, just log on and shop um, to see what the deal is going to end up being. Um, so we're kind of like keeping you on your toes there a little bit. Um, now of course, Eastern Standard Time, that's from 8.45 a.m. to 8.45 um, p.m. So that is ending really soon. Um, I'm not used to uh, coming on to do this stream at this time. So yes, uh, if you guys want to kind of go ahead and um, wrap up your shopping um, at, during the stream or soon after the stream ends, uh, go ahead and cart out to take advantage of that deal. Um, the hairbrush set, that deal is going to run from 1040 AM Pacific Standard Time to 1040 PM Pacific Standard Time. So Eastern Time, that's going to be 140 in the afternoon to 140 AM. Um, so make sure you are all set and good uh, by that time. And then the multi-use covers, that deal is going to run from 10, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to 10, 10 uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And so Eastern Standard Time, that's 1, 10 in the afternoon to 1, 10 a.m. Um, okay, and again, you don't have to remember all of this right now, but uh, because this is different than kind of the deals that we usually run and how we usually do things, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there at the top so you get a little bit of an understanding of how this is going to work. It's kind of like a flash deal. Um, so you have to take advantage of it within those time frames. Uh, so again, after each product, I will go over this again and give you a little reminder um, of how long you have to shop. So remember, everything is up to 30% off. Um, very exciting. I did want to tell you, as usual, um, please like and share this uh, live stream. It helps us grow. And you guys uh, who have joined us before, you know how much I love doing these. Um, it's something I look forward to every week. I, you know, think about it all weekend long, um, preparing, you know, this stuff for you guys. Um, it really is a great wind down for me. And I think, you know, you all feel very similarly about it. Um, so the more the merrier. We would just love to see um, more of you joining us every week. So if you have mom-to-be friends, dad-to-be friends, um, parent friends, who um, you think would benefit from seeing and hearing about these products and uh, getting to hang out with us every week, we would love to continue growing this community. So uh, you can help us with that by liking and sharing this stream. And then uh, take a look at our social media channels. Um, so especially Instagram for our Cyber Monday deals. Um, so obviously that is coming up this coming Monday. Um, and we will be sharing uh, our special deals and discounts um, and kind of the times that those are going to begin and end on our Instagram stories. So definitely, if you are not already following us over there, uh, make sure that you do give us a follow um, so that you can follow along with our stories and kind of play along over there. Um, and then, of course, um, Monday evening, we have our Sun, uh, Cyber Monday live stream with Julianne. Um, and that is going to be uh, at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and so it's a little on the late side for you uh, East Coasters. That's going to be 11 p.m. Um, but, you know, if you're up feeding a baby or just trying to have, you know, a little you time um, and you would like to snag some Cyber Monday deals, uh, looking for just kind of something to do, so a place to hang out, um, Julianne is fantastic. So uh, please tune in for that. So that's our, our Cyber Monday stuff that we have going. 
And um, with that, I think we are going to jump into our little crafting hour. Um, although this is certainly not going to take an hour. In fact, um, the thing I absolutely love about the Cherish Ornament um, set right here is how incredibly quick and easy this is to do. So I say this all the time um, that I, you know, in my mind, I like to think of myself as like a crafty mom. I do do a lot of crafts with my 15 month old daughter. She's just kind of becoming old enough to uh, find that kind of thing fun and have a little bit more attention span for it. Um, I think it's really good for her. It's a good bonding time for us, um, but I'm just not very naturally crafty. Um, I don't, you know, I can't draw, I can't paint, <laughs> I can't, I don't come up with these really like cool ideas or anything like that. Um, so anything that kind of takes a lot of the guesswork out of the craft for me is definitely up my alley. So if any of you out there can relate to that, I cannot recommend uh, this um, ornament set highly enough uh, if that's kind of what you're looking for to use it as sort of a holiday fun craft for you and uh, your you know baby or toddler to do together. Um, if you are looking for a really simple but personal, um, very you know sentimental type gift to give to grandma or grandpa, an aunt or an uncle or someone else special in baby's life, um, this is the gift for you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, that every set comes as a two pack, so you actually get two ornaments. Um, now, the ornament set that is um, on our Black Friday deals today uh, is the Cherish set, which means you're going to get two of the round disc ornaments like this. Um, this is actually from our Adore set, the heart-shaped one here. Um, and I just have this out on display because uh, I, I just wanted you to see what it looks like. And also, um, I used um, a different paint set that I'm going to talk about today on this one. And so I just wanted to use it as an example. Um, but so this is what you're looking at here. But because there are two ornaments in here, it really is like two gifts in one and for the price of one, right? Um, so this could be for once, you know, two different sets of grandparents, um, what have you, if you have two children, um, again, my daughter is 15 months old, um, and we actually used her foot here on this one. Um, so you can see that there's plenty of space, plenty of real estate. Like even if you had a toddler or a small child and a baby, um, you know, you could, uh, make an ornament one for each kid and give that as a gift. So, uh, just really fantastic. Or if you are just looking for, um, you know, maybe this is your first Christmas as a new parent and you are wanting to um, sort of add baby into your holiday decor. I know it's so exciting, like the first time you, you know, pick out baby's first ornament uh, or picking out baby's first Christmas stocking to hang on the mantle. If you're just wanting something sentimental to keep for yourself to commemorate this time, um, I think this is a fantastic option for that as well. Um, so just all around really, really excited about the Cherish uh, ornament set. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and open this up and show you everything that comes inside. So first you will pull out this little thing and it is basically uh, just kind of a little mold for um, your ornament. Uh, this is our clay that we're going to be working with. And of course, as I said, there are two ornament sets in here. So here's the second set. Uh, we will just be making one together this evening. This is the clear glaze paint uh, that comes in this particular set. Uh, this one is clear glaze. And just to give you an idea of what that looks like, um, here is an ornament here that if I kind of turn it in the light, uh, hopefully that comes across a little bit. See that nice kind of shine on it, basically what that's gonna look like is a really kind of timeless, classic piece of glazed pottery. You know, kind of like your coffee mug or your plate, it has that nice shine on it. Um, there's no color to the paint. So that's the set I'm working with here. We've got these uh, alphabet and number stamps so that you can personalize your ornament. And I will show you how to use those, of course. We've got lots of ribbon options to choose from. Uh, we have got this white ribbon, some red, some light blue, um, and some pink. There's also twine in here, but I think I dropped it out of the box. Um, 
you get this little um, ornament kind of display holder. So if you wanted to kind of go this style and not use it as an ornament that you can hang from a mantle or a, from a Christmas tree and just sort of display it in your home, it comes with everything you need to do that with as well. Um, let's see. So we've got two of those. This little uh, straw here, hold on to it, don't lose it. This is what you're going to use to poke your hole at the very top. Uh, if you do want to put some ribbon or string through it, so just make sure you set that aside. Uh, it's kind of easy to roll away and get lost. Uh, this is your little stamp pad for your letters that you're going to use to personalize. You have this cute little rolling pin uh, and then a paintbrush to use with your paint. So every, every, everything you need to complete this craft beginning to end and get this finished product right here um, is included in this kit. So you need no extras. Um, last two things inside the box and then we'll talk about our setup that I have here a little bit um, is this. This is just kind of to help set up your, your little workstation here. Uh, you're just gonna actually put that down on a flat surface and then your um, ring that kind of holds your clay in place just goes right on top of it where you see those dotted lines. Make sure it's lined up and it just gives your clay something to sit on um, as you're working. So that's what you're gonna do with that. And then of course your instructions and they are step-by-step, -step, very detailed. You cannot mess this up. Um, so I have done this a few times. Um, I probably won't need to reference this uh, too much, but also I, you know, I'm kind of on the spot doing it <laughs> live. Um, so I don't, you know, I wanna make sure I don't miss any steps or anything like that um, because I want you to truly see just how straightforward and easy this is to do. Um, okay, so what I have for my little workstation here is I put down just a little piece of parchment paper. You can put down, you know, whatever you want to use to just kind of keep your area um, safe from getting the clay and the paint on it and that kind of stuff. Um, so if you want to use tin foil, newspaper, a trash bag, you know, whatever. Um, I like parchment paper because my clay doesn't stick to it, which is nice. Um, so I've just got that down. I've got a pair of scissors because uh, those are going to come in handy. And then I do have an olive oil spritzer. This is absolutely not a necessary step, um, but it is just a little helpful tip for kind of um, softening up your clay a little bit. And so we will talk about that as we get started. So the first thing that you want to do besides setting up your workstation is go ahead and wash and dry your hands thoroughly um, just because you don't want any transference of anything that might be on your hands um, into your clay because that's going to dry into your ornament and you know show up in your ornament later. Um, so we don't want that. We want to have nice clean hands and let's just go ahead and pull out our modeling clay. So you're going to unwrap it from the plastic here. Um, it does have a little bit of a scent when you first open it. Uh, it's kind of Play-Doh-ish um, a little bit, uh, but I always do like to mention that uh, don't be alarmed that you're going to be, you know, getting this on baby's hands or getting this on their feet. Um, you're obviously going to have your hands in it. It is completely non-toxic, um, so you don't have to worry about that. And what we're going to start doing is kneading our clay. Um, and so sometimes you might get a batch of clay that is um, a little bit stiffer. Um, always forget this to take my rings off. Um, so that's where the olive oil comes in handy. So this was actually pretty soft and pliable, but just so that I get a good spread later, I'm gonna give it just one little spritz of the olive oil. Oh, that's so much nicer. And really all it does is just soften everything up. And so this is gonna spread out really nice and flat and really nice and even. Um, so that you don't have to use olive oil, of course, you can use any kind of cooking oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, anything like that. Um, and now you really should need this for about three minutes, but for time's sake, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And so all that means is that um, my ornaments kind of surface for this example may not be quite as smooth um, as I would like it to be if, you know, 
I were being really perfectionist about this. So do need your clay for about three minutes. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the middle here and start spreading it out with my hands. So I'm just taking my palms, sometimes my fingers if I need, you know, just a little um, finer pressure in some points. Uh, and I am just making sure I flatten it out as much as I can to fill every little bit um, of my uh, holder here. So this is what helps get it into the shape that you want it. So once that's good and spread out, take your little straw, which is our hole puncher, as I said before, right here, because I do want the option to kind of string ribbon through this and hang it um, later. I'll probably use this as a Christmas tree ornament. Um, somewhere near the top, and you can kind of look at uh, my examples here, just wherever you think logically that should go, go ahead and just press this all the way down. Make sure you're going all the way through and poke your hole. Okay, so once we've done that, you can just put this aside. So you're not really going to need it again. And we're going to take our rolling pin and think of it just like, you know, a rolling pin used for baking. And you are going to roll, roll, roll your clay, making sure you're getting out creases, bubbles, making sure it's nice and flat, nice and smooth. There's no expert technique here. Just rolling it back and forth. I actually really enjoy this part because I find it kind of therapeutic. I love watching how just nice and flat uh, this becomes, it's so satisfying and it just feels really nice. Um, this is a great sensory activity, I feel like. Um, okay, and so I do want to mention that the longer you roll this with the rolling pin, the smoother it's going to be and the less likely uh, to have any cracking or anything like that um, once it dries. Of course, for time's sake, I'm not trying to get it perfect. I just want to kind of walk you through the steps, but basically you want it to be as flat and smooth as you can possibly get it. So you are probably going to want to spend a little bit more time than I just did um, on that step, uh, but it's as simple as that. Really um, not rocket science. So the next thing we're going to do is prepare our personalization and that's where our kind of letters and numbers here um, are going to come in handy. So um, on these, I just put the year because um, that's kind of a tradition in, in our family and our house is just uh, to kind of uh, make an ornament for ourselves every year so that we can kind of look back and um, have a special memory of, you know, 2019, 2020, whatever. Um, so I just have 2021 on this one. Uh, this I actually took of my dog's paw, so I put my dog's name Finny on it. Uh, you can really customize to your heart's desire. There's lots of good space, lots of good real estate for it. If you want to put, uh, you know, your family's last name in the year, just the year, baby's name in the year, or a birth date or something like that. Uh, you know, you can make it say happy holidays, Merry Christmas, really. Um, that's totally up to you. Uh, there are um, two sets of letters and numbers in each of these. Um, so you should be uh, good to spell out whatever you want to spell out. Um, I'm going to cut out an O because I'm just going to stick with doing the date, right? And I want to keep it nice and easy. So this is where your scissors come in handy. And you're just going to cut along these little tabs to cut your letters out. Now, the one thing I want to uh, mention and kind of show you up close is that once you do that, it'll have this little tab still at the top. Um, and just make sure you cut those off completely so that um, your little kind of rectangle with your letter or number in it uh, is smooth on all sides, just because it's gonna make it easier to kind of slide into this little stamper here 
um, and also you don't uh, you want really clean lines and, and things on your um, your actual ornament so you're gonna load in just like this I just slipped it in the side there kind of position it where you think you want it spaced now the thing to keep in mind with this is that because you are kind of looking down at your ornament here and then stamping down like this in order for it to be readable it needs to be in mirror image so make sure that the way you are loading it it looks backwards to you um, so hopefully that's not confusing let me just show you an example so for 2021 that needs to look like that. Wait, is that right side for you guys? My screen is mirrored. <laughs> um, so when I look at this face on, uh, it's backwards, right? So once you've done that, once you've loaded it in, and again, I'm just trying to conserve time a little bit, go ahead and plunk this down into your clay. Boom. Okay, so now I think when I show this to you, that's gonna look backwards to you, right? So number one thing you have to keep in mind when you are loading your numbers and letters, they need to go in backwards as you are looking at them this way. And that's how you get them correct on your actual ornament. Okay, so I know I'm picking this up a lot to kind of show it to the camera so that you guys can, you know, see what it looks like, see what we're doing. Um, you know, once you have started this, you really do kind of want to leave this on a level surface and not handle it as much as possible, um, just so it stays uh, nice and compact in your mold um, and so that, you know, no dropping or accidents happen or anything like that. Um, so once we have done that part, you are going to grab baby or toddler, whoever, um, and whatever body part you're using, a hand or a foot, go ahead and wash and dry their hand or foot very thoroughly. Again, and that's just to keep anything, you know, sticky, fuzz, anything like that that might be on their hands. You don't want that to show up in your ornament. You want that to be nice and pristine. Um, and then go ahead and give your hands a wash. Now, because I didn't really need my clay for very long, my hands are pretty clean. Um, I do have some wipes nearby if I need them. I don't think that I do, um, but I would also go ahead and just wipe off any excess clay or oil or anything like that from my hands. Again, just so we don't get any of that transference issue. Um, so once you have done that, you are going to take baby's hand or foot. And of course, for my example, I'm gonna use um, kind of my own hand as much as I can get on there. So we'll just use my fingers. You're gonna make sure you have flat fingers like I do here if you're using a hand and that the fingers are all straight and a little spread out. And you're gonna just press those in. Good firm pressure for about five seconds, okay? So just in the time I've been talking to you, I think I've done that. Beautiful. Um, I am going to just re-poke my hole a little bit. Sometimes that will happen. Um, so just make sure you hold on to that. If you need to do any little touch-ups or anything like that um, for a foot same thing so you'll just make sure um, that the foot goes down flat and that all of the toes are good and flat and straight um, I know that's kind of easier on a smaller baby who's like <laughs> pliable and cooperative um, with my toddler it's always a bit of a challenge it kind of depends on her mood whether she's gonna hold her hand out flat for me or her foot um, so yeah uh, doing this with a toddler is a little bit more interesting but still lots of fun. Um, so that's what it looks like there. And as you can see, it does look like the indention is pretty light. And while your clay is still wet and hasn't been glazed or painted, um, that's totally fine. That's normal. Uh, don't feel like you've done anything wrong. That basically what you see there is about what it should look like. Um, and that's a great imprint that I've done right there. So that's going to look, um, of course, you know, it's my three adult fingers, but <laughs> it's going to look really nice um, and defined uh, once it's all done. Of course, it will be much cuter, you know, when it's your baby's hand than mine. Um, so what we're going to do with this now is wait for it to dry. So you're going to leave it in its holder. Um, all of kind of the uh, creation work is done. Um, now comes the fun part. So you're going to let this dry for about four to five days. 
I've actually had one uh, be completely dry and hard so that I could knock on it um, within three days. Uh, but four is about standard. That's what I would give it to dry in on a flat surface in a place where it will be undisturbed. Because again, you know, we don't want any accidental imprints. Uh, we don't want it getting knocked off of a shelf or something and um, getting broken before you get a chance to paint it or anything crazy like that. Um, so you will just set it aside for four days, let the, cl uh, the clay air dry. Um, and then once it is completely dry and hard, uh, you will then be able to paint it. So I won't be able to show you that step, of course, um, but again, you have everything that you need. Uh, this is the clear glaze paint. It looks like this. Uh, and here's the paintbrush that you will use. Um, yeah, that's it. So if you want the glaze set, you want this nice kind of classic look uh, with that nice shine there, um, glaze is going to be what you want. There's also a multicolor set, and I don't think I have um, one super close by that I could show you the paint from. Um, but basically, it's it's your you know colors of the rainbow. That's what I actually used to paint this one. We used the red and the black um, for my dog Finny. Um, and then this also comes in gold, which you see right here, and silver, which I, I don't have an example of at the moment. Um, but make sure that you browse, you know, all of your color options in the carousel below. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I always like to display my little paw print here because uh, it's just a further example of, you know, how I think this makes such a great gift. If you have a sentimental dog, you know, or cat lover um, in your life, I think this is an amazing gift for a dog mom or dad. Um, I am very obsessed with my dogs. Everyone who knows me knows that about me. Um, so, you know, getting this ornament set was something that I could, you know, use to commemorate uh, my, you know, furry friends um, would be really, really meaningful to me. Um, so again, you know, this isn't just a great gift for someone with kids. Uh, this works for, you know, for parents as well. So uh, that's the Cherish Ornament Set. And now again, the Lightning Deal runs from 4.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, so we're actually coming up on the end of that one here. Um, it's going to end at 4.45 p.m. So um, please go ahead and uh, jump on that. That is coming up really, really soon. Um, so I would go ahead and if this looks like something that you are interested in, grab it now, snag it, put it in your cart, go ahead and cart out um, so that you get that um, Black Friday deal. Cannot go wrong with this ornament set. Um, okay, so let me clean up my area a little bit here and then we are going to talk about the hairbrush sets. Um, and so uh, I will just talk about the features of those a little bit and then I will actually show you kind of my idea um, for giving them as kind of the perfect gift this year. Uh, we're actually going to make a cute little gift together with all Kia Babies products. Um, so yes, let's get to that. Uh, I will just remove some of this stuff here. Make sure everything is looking good on the chat. Um, so glad you guys um, love this ornament set. Um, I do as well. So happy to see so many of you joining us on a Friday. Thank you guys so much. And don't forget, we will be back next Wednesday um, at our usual time. All right. I am going to be as gentle as I can with this because I love keeping these to use as examples later. Um, and I'll just move this one out of the way so that I have plenty of space here. Uh, and we'll leave our, our pretty little Christmas tree up with the Cherish example there. Okay, so let's talk about the hairbrush set. So we have two. And I honestly can't pick a favorite. They're both absolutely um, fantastic. They are uh, my absolute favorite hairbrush sets to use with my daughter, Sophia. Um, it makes kind of brushing and combing her hair. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, 
so much easier uh, just because they're so soft and wonderful and she loves the experience. Um, so let's actually talk about the round hairbrush set first. And I always like to show it in the box and just open that up for you guys um, because it's just so beautifully packaged, which again, makes this a great gift to give. Um, so here's what the round hairbrush set looks like. You actually get three pieces. You get this nice round, soft bristle, bristled hairbrush, uh, the bamboo bristles here, and then this really sweet little comb. So again, the material here is bamboo on the soft, uh, round hairbrush. This is 100% goat hair bristle. So let me just tell you, it feels luxurious. It feels high quality. It's so incredibly soft. Um, and what I love this brush for is if you, um, have a baby who's dealing with something like a uh, cradle cap, um, a little bit of, you know, kind of dry flaky skin on the scalp, anything like that. This is actually a wonderful tool for massaging that away. Um, so, you know, a lot of times you can kind of just leave that dry skin in place and it'll, you know, flake off on its own. You don't really have to do anything about it. Um, you don't have to treat cradle cap, but it can get a little bit itchy and sometimes it can, you know, the, those plaques and scales can get pretty thick. Um, so if you, you know, think that baby is a little bit uncomfortable or you just think it's unsightly and you would like to gently buff it away, the way that you do that is, um, so after baby has had a bath and their hair is nice and damp, you can apply something like a uh, baby oil, coconut oil, um, just to their scaly spots. And then you want to use something that is similar to like a soft bristled toothbrush, which is exactly what this is like. Um, think of like the softest, soft bristled toothbrush you've ever felt in your life. That's what this is like. Um, and this is the perfect tool for kind of very gently massaging and buffing those, those flakes away. So that's an excellent way to uh, treat conditions like that. Um, also, you know, uh, we haven't dealt with anything like that in a, in a long time with my daughter, Sophia. She did have some flaky skin going on when she was a much smaller infant. Um, but now she just loves this because it's so soft. Um, and as her hair is growing long, you know, she likes this because uh, it doesn't tug on her tangles or anything like that. Um, so if you have kind of a tender headed, uh, baby who doesn't always enjoy kind of, you know, having things done to them, having their hair brushed or combed, um, you know, as much as I love the, the sensation of that, there are babies that just, uh, don't really enjoy that. So if you have one of those, this is a great option for you. Um, what this bamboo bristled, so these are, um, kind of harder, um, but still nice and soft, uh, bamboo bristles. So what this is really good for is actually stimulating blood flow in the scalp. So you can give a really nice, not just hairbrush, um, but even if baby doesn't really have any hair yet, this is an excellent baby head massager. Um, so if you want to make this, if you know, bath time is sort of part of your nighttime routine, your wind down routine that starts um, relaxing baby, uh, kind of regulating baby's nervous system, getting them into that nice sleepy zone. Um, this is an excellent one to use right before bedtime. Uh, if you have a baby that's fussing, um, something like a nice gentle head massage is going to help them so much. My daughter Sophia loves them. Um, and again, kind of getting the blood flowing in the scalp and circulating and all of that um, is going to be very calming and regulating to the nervous system. So this is a really great massaging brush. And because uh, the bristles are a little bit, you know, stiffer, a little bit more substantial, um, this is great for if, you know, baby or toddler or child, of course, you don't have to use these just on a baby. Um, they are starting to uh, have enough hair to get tangles and need some detangling. This is gonna be a great gentle option for that. And then here you've got this really sweet little comb, which I absolutely love. Um, so this is, we just really primarily use this for getting the tiny little tangles and knots out of my daughter's hair. If she has kind of given herself a hairdo uh, using her kind of her lunch or her dinner <laughs> as hair product that day, which she has started to do a lot, um, this is really great for kind of just gently combing that out. Uh, and getting her hair just kind of nice and clean and detangled. So I love the size of everything. 
Um, it's going to be really nice and easy and comfortable for your adult size hand to hold and maneuver. Um, again, the material here is bamboo, so everything is just uh, feels so high quality and uh, very durable and just nice. Um, I just feel like it's a, a more aesthetically pleasing and just like a nice step up from those kind of, um, you know, the little kits that you can buy for, for baby that has like the little kind of plastic comb and plastic hairbrush. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this just seems like something that's going to sort of stand the test of time a little bit better and be something that they can continue to use for a long time. Um, so love, love, love the round hairbrush set. Uh, so we're going to set that aside for just a second and then talk about um, the baby wooden hairbrush set. So um, this is basically just a different shape. So if you want to shop this one, just look for the one that is not the round hairbrush set. Um, this is kind of your standard set here. And I'm going to open that up. Again, you have this beautiful box, which is perfect for gifting. Um, and I'll just show you what these look like. So a little bit um, skinnier, sleeker, you're gonna get this shape hairbrush. Again, uh, bamboo handle, 100% goat hair uh, bristles. So super soft, all the same benefits that I just talked about with the last set. Um, here is what your bamboo bristle um, hairbrush looks like. Again, just kind of a lower profile, a little bit of a different shape. Um, so it really just depends on kind of what you're looking for and what your style is. Um, and I do really love this comb. Uh, I think it's a little bit finer toothed um, than in the round hairbrush set. Uh, so this is going to be really great for like, you know, delicate kind of baby hair, getting those little tangles out. And then I love that it kind of has the extended handle a little bit. Um, which makes it super easy for mom or dad to hold. But again, I love both sets. We use them interchangeably, just whichever one we kind of grab in the moment. Um, just so, so grateful to Kia Babies for sending this because it is a hit in our household. Um, okay, so those are the hairbrush sets. Um, let me just uh, remind you really quickly that the we've got lightning deals happening for this uh, Black Friday. And so the way that works is uh, the deals are only going to last from a certain time to a certain time. So you have to kind of be ready to jump on them. Um, and so for the hairbrush sets, the deal is running um, 10.40 a.m. Pacific Standard Time um, to 10.40 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And so Eastern Standard Time, that's going to be 1.40 in the afternoon to 1.40 a.m. Um, so again, uh, that will be here before we know it. So just make sure that you are ready to shop kind of at the end of this live stream. Um, jump on, everything is browsable in the carousel below this video. Uh, so if you see something that strikes your fancy, go ahead, add it to cart, cart out, uh, and take advantage of that deal. Everything is up to 30% off, um, and the actual discount, um, will be revealed when you shop. Um, so let me put this back in the box. Um, because I'm going to show you um, kind of one of my go-to um, gift ideas uh, using the hairbrush set um, and using all Kia Babies products. Now, um, the next couple of things I'm going to show you are Kia Babies products that are not um, on sale for Black Friday today, uh, but still totally worth checking out, worth shopping for um, if this looks like uh, something that you think a friend might need or you might need. Um, basically, I just wanted to kind of make uh, the hairbrush a little bit fun. So let me show you my new favorite themed gift to give to a new parent. So first, I'm going to start with the Kia Babies diaper caddy. And you see how we have these nice four squares here for holding and organizing things. Okay, so all I'm going to do is, because uh, this caddy is kind of customizable, I'm going to use the Velcro to remove one of those inserts so that I have one um, large end, okay? So now I have three compartments inside, one big one and two smaller ones. All right, so the theme of this gift is going to be bath time, right? Because even if, like, let's say you need to give a gift to a coworker. 
um, and you don't know really anything about their taste, their lifestyle outside of work, but you want to give them a gift, um, one thing you can be sure of is every new parent is going to have to bathe their baby at some point, right? <laughs> and so bath, bath time things are always a wonderful, wonderful gift to give. So let me show you uh, just a couple of my favorite things. So what we're going to include in this is Deluxe Bamboo Hooded Towel. And let me show it to you. In case you are unfamiliar, because it's so stinking cute. So I chose the lamb. Um, this also comes in a, kind of an array of woodland creatures um, and also a little bear. Okay, but so this is the lamb. Now I've got this thing, which is basically a decorative plate holder that you can get at like um, a Michael store, a craft store, um, any kind of home improvement store for $5. Um, it's totally worth it. And what I'm gonna do is in my large end that I made, I'm gonna stick that down inside. And what that gives me is a cute little display for my towel, which is going to be a part of my bath time gift. So I'll stick the body of the towel down in behind this nice little decorative plate holder. I spread the hood so that you can see the cute little lamb face looking up at you with those precious little ears. I spread that out over the top there and then just kind of drape that nicely inside. So now um, this is a great place to like maybe put your card to and from and whatever and all that kind of stuff. Congratulations on the new baby, whatever it may be. Um, Merry Christmas if you're giving this as a Christmas gift because he can kind of be holding it in his little hands, like see how that works. And so then in here in this pocket, um, let me grab, the Kia Babies Bamboo Washcloth. So I'm going with the Baby Blue set. And again, um, only the hairbrush set is uh, on sale this Black Friday. But I will never miss an opportunity to talk to you about other Kia Babies products that I love uh, because they're worth paying full price for. Okay, and so final washcloth here. And so I'll just roll those up nicely. I'll go ahead and take them out of their packaging and just stick them in there. And then either hairbrush set works. So whichever your preference is, if you wanna gift the round hairbrush set, let's say, I'm gonna put that in this back um, pocket here. I've got this super cute little gift with like this guy in the front. Just close that up and tie the handles together with some decorative ribbon. And of course you can choose something that's a little flashier than what I have here. That's just been sitting in my craft drawer forever. Um, but it's just to give you an idea, of course. And this is a super cute, useful, um, very thoughtful kind of complete themed gift, right? Everything um, a new parent needs to kind of kick off bath time with a new baby. Um, using all Kia Babies products. So just a little idea I wanted to give to you since we are in the holiday season. Um, again, it's been um, a gift that I've kind of put together a couple of times for um, a neighbor and then a friend who's recently had a baby. So please, 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 if you are interested in the hair brush set, uh, go ahead and grab that on this Black Friday. Um, but as always, I encourage you to shop these awesome products as well. And again, everything um, pictured here is the uh, diaper caddy, the bamboo hooded towel. Um, this is the lamb version. I've got the Kia Babies bamboo washcloths in the light blue color. Um, they come in lots of other colors, which you can shop on their website. And then of course the two hairbrush sets. So that's that. I'm just gonna clear off my space here and then talk about our final item of the evening and that is the multi-use cover. So let me just wheel my little cart in here. So 
so I think you can see everything there. And let me grab my daughter Sophia's car seat. Um, and I will show you why I have this with me in just a moment. So um, I'm talking about the multi-use covers because, well, they are a part of our Black Friday sale. And so, of course, we want you to take advantage of that and get them at a discount. Um, but also why I think these are so useful during the holiday season, a couple of reasons. So if you are like us and you're doing some traveling, um, you know, taking a long car ride somewhere or a plane ride, if you are, um, flying with baby and you know, you're required to, uh, fly them in their car seat and you want baby to be able to have a little bit of privacy, kind of shield them from overstimulation, um, keep you know, kind of a little protective bubble between them and, you know, um, other people on your flight at the airport, um, what have you, you know, we are in flu season, we are still in a pandemic, um, that kind of thing. Or if you need to make a nice kind of dark shady spot for baby to nap on the go, either on a plane or in a car, the multi-use cover is fantastic for that. And I'm going to show you how to use it as a car seat cover. Um, but of course, when you see the multi-use cover, the first thing you might think of is that this is a nursing cover. It also makes a fantastic nursing cover. So again, you're going to be around family. You may be away from home. You may be in a family member's home. And maybe there's not a good private spot where you can kind of, you know, jump away for a little bit to nurse your baby in private. If you need um, a, a good cover that is light and breathable, super comfortable, incredibly soft, not going to irritate baby skin, not going to be you know bulky and uncomfortable on you, but it's going to provide 100% coverage so that you know you don't feel exposed feeding baby in front of um, extended family, friends, what have you. Um, this is going to be a great option for you as well. So I would highly suggest you know keeping a, a nice nursing cover uh, kind of you know at your disposal if you're going to be out and about on on the holidays. So. Um, let's talk about what makes this multi-use cover so great. So first of all, it's 100% cotton, which I talk about this all the time with Kia Babies products. It is the softest, softest fabric on the planet. So again, just putting this up to your skin feels so nice. It feels like butter. It is silky soft. It's just very comfortable. It's going to be comfortable for you to wear. It's going to be comfortable for, you know, baby to have around their body. Um, and of course, if you are using it as a nursing cover, uh, you have a couple of options. Um, kind of your standard is you just put it on like a poncho. And you can see full, full coverage. You cannot see um, anything underneath this cover, right? You can't tell what color shirt I'm wearing, nothing like that. Um, so it's going to provide, you know, ample privacy for you. If you would like to keep one arm out, just because that's more comfortable, um, or just to kind of keep yourself cooler, um, you can of course do that as well. And you can be supporting baby under here and nursing, um, or just letting baby take a nice calm contact nap. Uh, anything like that. So it's super easy to put on, take off. Um, as you can see, they're also just so beautiful. I just, I love the aesthetic. Um, I love the prints and the colors that Kia Babies has. Uh, I just think that they're a lot um, nicer, just higher quality all around um, than some of the others that I have used or shopped before. Um, so that's another thing that I love about them. And I love how versatile they are. Um, so if you uh, have a baby like mine, uh, my daughter Sophia has a really hard time nap uh, time napping away from home. Um, she, you know, needs like complete darkness. And I know that you know on a long car ride we're never going to be able to provide that. But um, something that helps a lot is to actually use this as a car seat cover for her. Um, while we're traveling and when I see that she's starting to get sleepy, we're kind of approaching nap time. She's getting, you know, a little bit cranky um, and I know that she's tired. I will go ahead and just throw this on. So you'll just put uh, where your head would go in this big opening here. You'll just put the handle of the car seat um, and then drape this over the feet here and then drape the other end 
over the back. And it just provides a little bit of shade, a little bit of darkness, a little bit of um, her little safe cocoon uh, where she can kind of get sleepy, get calm, and finally drift off to sleep. Again, if you are going to be, you know, at a relative's house, you're somewhere that baby is not used to being, and you need a place for them to nap, um, you know, nearby, and you want to use your car seat um, as an option for that. Uh, you know, for just a quick, of course, supervised nap, um, and you need to provide a little bit of darkness, uh, kind of, you know, help prevent overstimulation, something like this is going to be a great option. Um, this can also be used as a shopping cart cover. So while you're out doing your Christmas shopping with baby, um, and you just want something, you know, nice and comfy um, to go between, you know, baby skin and the shopping cart, or, you know, again, we are kind of in flu season and pandemic times, um, you know, if you just want kind of an extra layer of sanitation between baby skin and anything that they might be touching in the cart, this also works great as a shopping cart cover. You can also use it as a high chair cover if you are taking baby out to a restaurant. Now, is it advisable to use it as a high chair cover because isn't baby going to like spill things on it, get food on it? Yes, potentially, but we have done it. And the reason I think this is the perfect kind of multi-use cover to do that with is because it's so easy to clean. This is machine washable on cold and you can tumble it dry in the dryer on low heat uh, and it's good to go. There's no need to use fabric softener. Uh, it's plenty soft and yeah, so you can just throw it in with your regular laundry. So it is okay if this gets kind of dirty and stained. Um, it's still a really great option for that. Um, so that's how I like to use it. We will be absolutely taking it with us on our travels uh, because we do like to use it in the car. Um, let me show you kind of up close the colors and patterns that we have here. These are the ones that are um, eligible for the Black Friday deal today. So this is called Dainty Bloom and it's probably my favorite because I'm a girl mom. So I love everything kind of flowery and pink and that kind of thing. Um, I just love that it's nice and delicate and pretty. Um, this is BFF Gray. I love the nice neutral gray stripes. Uh, I think that's a beautiful shade of gray. I've got BFF Black in here. So that's just your black and white stripe. Uh, nice neutral unisex. Again, very sleek looking. This is probably my second favorite because I'm super into the boho look. This is called Tribal Arrows. Um, and it's this beautiful shade of Kia Baby's specific gray. Um, any of you that kind of follow along and join our, you know, live stream every week know that I will go on and on about the beautiful grays um, that Kia Babies has in their lineup. This one is Gingham. So again, a nice black and white checkered pattern. Super cute. And then this one is called Starry Charm. And it's this beautiful gray with the cute little stars on it. Um, so those are the multi-use covers um, that are eligible for the Black Friday deal. And so let's go over that just one more time. Sorry, my voice just cracked. Okay, so um, this deal is going to be running uh, 10, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It ends 10, 10 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So Eastern Time, that's 1, 10 in the afternoon uh, is when it uh, begins or began um, to 1, 10 uh, in the morning. So make sure um, that you jump on, take advantage of that deal before it expires. Um, remember, everything is up to 30% off. Um, so, so worth it if you have been wanting to get your hands on some of these Kia Baby products. Again, they're some of my absolute favorites. Um, I love, love, love um, giving these as gifts. I think they make great gifts. So if you're not shopping for yourself, but you're shopping for loved ones, um, these are really great options. Again, my friends, I just want to remind you um, that we have more deals coming on Cyber Monday. So that is this coming Monday. Um, follow along on our Instagram stories if you are not already following us over there. Um, all new deals, all new times, all of that. Um, I think that'll be really fun to uh, follow along on our stories um, to catch all of that. And then we have our Cyber Monday live stream with Julie Ann. And that will be at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's 11 at night for you East Coasters. 
Um, and as always, I have loved hanging out with you. Um, sorry for kind of having to rush through a little bit, but um, I am on sort of my last leg and I need to go take some more colds and flu medicine. Um, and hopefully now that I have an antibiotic, actually start to kick this thing and remember what good health feels like. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in on a Friday. I know that's different. Um, for us, uh, we will be back to normally scheduled programming with me um, next Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9.30 um, Eastern Time. And I can't wait, as always. Um, I hope that you ate good food yesterday. Uh, I hope that you spent time with your loved ones. Um, and I hope you enjoy your shopping today. So stay safe, stay well, and I will see you next week. Thank you, Kia Babies team, as always. Um, love you guys, and until next time. Bye, friends.